The Bluntville Little League was left without a place to play this fall. After Sullivan County decided to turn Bernie Webb Park into a packing facility for recyclables early this summer. But the league has found a way to continue to play baseball and softball this fall. News Channel 11's Jayana Scurry reports on the new location. For the past few weeks, the Bluntville Little League has been transforming the old fields at the former Bluntville Middle School for their fall season. We've been out here with rented machinery uh, to get these scraped up and try to get the, the, the weeds and the sod out and, and try to churn up the, the dirt a little bit to soften it up. David Ewing, president of the Bluntville Little League, says some of the county employees has helped clean up the fields as well. Future plans of the site include a state-of-the-art baseball park, but right now, they're still getting the current fields ready. Make sure they're safe. Uh, you know, we found some extra steel studs in the, in the ground where the bases were, so we pulled those out so that, you know, a kid slide in and, and you know, cut, cut it open their leg kind of thing. Bluntville Little League is actually using two different locations. One is behind the former Bluntville Middle School, where two fields are located. The other is back at Bernie Webb Park, where two fields have not been demolished yet. This has created a challenge for some parents, like Barry Myers, who is also a coach. Only two of my kids can play. My younger one can't because we can't be in two places at once. So Bernie Webb for the younger kids and not for the older, and that's, that's made for a real problem. Both Myers and Ewing say a perk of being at the Bluntville Middle School is having better parking, but they still face more problems. We, we don't have primary access anymore, so that has become a pretty big challenge. Uh, you know, there are folks that showed up here uh, this a little bit ago to use the fields to play softball and we we kind of unfortunately had to say hey we've we've got the fields reserved. Ewing and Myers says they're trying to make this place their new home for the kids. It's about giving the kids an opportunity to play and if we can give them a field that they're proud to play on that they can call home even if it's not ideal we'll work with that. In Bluntville, Jaylana Scurry, News Channel 11.